All right, what is going on guys? Alex7 here, welcome back to another TD2 video. And then today I'm showing you five of the top, whoa, I didn't even say that properly, top five houses in TDU2. So without further ado, let's get started with the Coconut Beach House on Hawaii. So here we are in my Koenigsegg Agarar with the top down. Something that I'm sure we will see in TDSC, well, ho hopefully so, but we will have to wait and see for more news about that. But let's start off with one of my most favorite houses in the game. Now, in no particular order, because I haven't really ranked these perfectly. The top two are obviously the top two. I'm sure you guys know exactly which ones those are. But let's take a quick look around. Now, the reason as to why this is one of my favorite houses, as you can see, it does feature a pool. Now, which way is the door? Because I know one of these sliding doors actually has an opening, and it's right here. So right here, guys, is why. Now, the one thing I do wish about TD2 is that we could actually sit in the pool. Even if we couldn't swim around it, it'd be beautiful if we could actually just sit in it. That is something I really do hope makes it into TDUSC. Again, not needed, but it would definitely help with the immersion. Now, of course, the thing with some of these houses in TD2 was that you weren't able to access all the areas. For example, I really do wish you were able to get out to this area. And I really do wish that you were able to come up here and you were able to see like a bedroom or able to walk into something where you had your bed. Now, of course, you also got your TV, all that, which, by the way, my favorite sound in TD2. Come on. Bro, the... Come, guys, you know this menu. This menu is one of my most favorite. Just... Come on. The sounds that it just makes. Hold on. Bro, the, I, we need something like this in TDSC. <laughs> Come on. I love this music that this plays. I love the sound. All that, all that, all that. But anyways, let's move on to another house. Now, of course, before I do that, let me show you the garage here in the Coconut Beach house. And I do apologize. I'm sure you know what happened. I obviously switched between saves from TD World to my YouTube save. And let's just say I messed up one time and... <sighs> Shout out to Eating Games for the anti-cheat because they definitely dealt with me very dirty. I have quite a few pink Mustangs. But anyways, here is the garage. I really do hope that you're actually able to drive in your garage and park your cars wherever you see fit. So there's not any predetermined spaces. Although I wouldn't really mind if we already have spaces like this predetermined. It's not really a big thing. Let's move on to another house that I believe is one of the top five in it. TDU2. Let's get it started. All right, so my friends, here we are driving to the fourth house in tdu2 that i think is one of the top five now this is the wamano house in hawaii of course in fact all the houses that i'm about to show you are in hawaii but let's i don't know where all these cars are coming from because i assume they better not be driving into my beautiful house that we got here and let's take a quick look not only does i have a nice little drive around look at that view off the side of the mountain now i'm just going to turn around and let's get take a look. I'll scratch my corner stick there. Let's take a look at this house and why it is one of my fourth place houses. Now, as you can see again, hold on. Oh, wait, I didn't even mean to do that. Speaking of info, the fact you can change your house, like the flooring. Come on. This single-handedly was one of the best features in TDU 2. And I really do hope it makes it way, it makes its way over. Now, of course, being able to change your flooring in a house was one of the main things in TD2, and I really do hope it makes it over to TDUSC as well, because this is brilliant. Come on. You know what I mean? Anyways, another thing that, of course, we gotta do, I think I need to do this in every single house, actually. I, need to, I think I need to go closer to the TV. Come on, listen to this. Guys, come on. C come on, guys, come on. Uh, I really do hope TDSC could be a very, very, very good game. But let's take a look at the outside. And as you guys can see, we got your pool, we got an outside area. The view is still pretty crazy. And that's the ortho satellite mod working in the background. But let's take a look. Now, not, another thing that I do want to show you guys is not only do you have your own aquarium here, and I think you can even go up these steps. I'm pretty certain of it. Again, there's no bedroom that they added, so that's a bit, you know, upsetting. However, if I show you the garage, and I really do wish you could access this side of the house, but let's take a look at the garage, my friends. Again, more pink Mustangs to mess with me. Um, come on. Anyways, <laughs> this is one of my most favorite garages. This is the garage that's actually in the trailer 
that you guys see of TD2. Now, I do have a Renault right there. Uh, yeah, don't worry. Does, I know it says Ascari, but it's not. MP412C, Porsche, and Pink Mustang. Pink Mustang, Miami here, so I might have to kill her. And you got a huge aquarium here as well. And to top it off, you got a little, nice little desk where you can upload your YouTube videos from as well. But now, let's take a look at the third house that I believe is one of the top five houses in TD2. Let's go. Now, arguably, one of the nicest houses in TD2 is right here over on the north side of Hawaii. So, let's turn on an indicator, turn into this pretty nice house, as you guys can see, with the huge entrance to the driveway. Come on. If this doesn't show you're living the life of luxury, I don't know what does. I think you got garages on both sides, you got a tennis court, and of course you got a pool. But let's drive on in this so I can show you guys this beautiful house. Let's get it started. Now here we go. It just speaks I'm fucking rich. It, it literally just speaks that. As you can see, you got your three garages there, three garages there, a huge pool in the middle, and come on, this just screams, yeah rich life your chandeliers probably cost a mil each but anyways oh, hold on you guys probably annoyed that i do this every single time but it sounds so goddamn good anyways let's get back into the video so as i was saying you got a ton of books i'm not very i don't really like reading a lot of books so that's kind of useless to me but if you go over here to your garage this is where you guys are seeing and uh, no pink mustangs no pink uh, and there are quite a few damn pink mustangs but anyways this is a cool garage now by the way this lift do you guys comment down below do you guys want to see lifts in tdsc where you can fix your car do you want to be able to repair your car do oil changes all that do you want to see that in tdsc comment down below your thoughts on what you would do and how to implement it but anyways here we got a oh, beautiful beautiful mod by the way vrs has crazy mods 177 you got a ton of columns pillars lycon by the way and the gumper this is still my favorite sounding car i think i'm gonna have to drive this one out but this is the third house that i love in tdo 2 now let me show you the top two i'm sure you guys already know what those are so let's get straight to those two now coincidentally here we are and i'm sure you know exactly where this is now by the way gumper polo best sounding well at least top five sounding cars in stock td2 but here we are at the yacht now the reason i put this at number two is because the house at number one i think deserves its place but let's take a look at the yacht now the yacht is one of my most favorite houses in td2 and as you guys can see i really do wish that you actually had your car sitting on this ledge when you put it in when you actually walk into the yacht because it actually goes away it just goes into your garage it'd be very cool if you just sat there in your house come on that would have been crazy but anyways here it is and you guys are gonna be sick and tired but you know exactly you gotta hear this again come on bro eating games you have outdone yourselves i'm i might be one of the biggest td2 fans <laughs> but anyways you got your bar you got a little place out here to rest and if you actually go up these stairs which i'm walking to glass right now i guess that's windex for you if you walk up here you got your hot tub nicely done you can sit in it though kind of bad but you also got your other hot tub inside you got pictures that you could actually frame i'm sure you guys remember that you can frame your own pictures and if you take a look down the garage you're probably gonna see a ton of pink mustangs here as well unfortunately and yeah all i have left is a regera and a bugatti devo quite interesting the rest of them are filled with pink mustangs and the game has not crashed give me a second and i'll be right back i guess my mommy harris didn't like me showing off too many pink mustangs all right so now that we are back here in td2 guys let's go over to the main house we're gonna drive there i'm sure you guys already know exactly what house that is let's just exit Bring out our Gumpeter Polo, and the house is not even that far away. It's actually pretty close, and I'm sure you guys already know exactly what house that is. Because if you turn left, let's turn this on. Come on. Whoa. That's fine. Gumpeter Polo was one of our most favorite cars that you get from the clubhouse in TDU2. Again, I'm sure we're going to be seeing something very similar to TDSC regarding a clubhouse or a feature, a community feature of that sort, community racing center, all these type of stuff that you can walk in. Again, like I said, I'm very excited for TD2 because you, there's not really much you could do to make TDSC 
not end up being good. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm saying. If you just stick to the same principles that TD2 had and fix all of the issues that people already had, such as the physics, I'm sure a lot of people complain about it. To this day, I'm not really, I don't, I honestly think they're not that bad. Neither do I think about the character animations. But welcome, my friends. Now, unfortunately, the garage here is completely filled with pink Mustangs yet again. However, I will leave a little video in between here where you guys can see what my garage looked like prior to getting dogged by Eden Games. But anyways, let's take a look and hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, bro, I don't know who made this noise, but whoever made it, you are, you are insane. Anyways. <laughs> Let's take a look at the mineral house. You guys already know that's the name of this house. Everyone had it. Everyone loved it. And let me tell you why. This is one of my favorite houses. Not only is the view right here, and it's pretty insane. I mean, come on. This is one of my most favorite views. It is so close to your yacht that it, why would you not buy it? You have a yacht and you have a mineral house right next to each other. That is exactly why I purchased these two houses. And I'm sure, not only did I do it in this game, I did it on PS3 back when the TD2 servers were live yet again. But TD World is pretty exciting. I'm sure you guys cannot wait for that to release. And neither can I. It's going to be a crazy amount of videos that I'm going to be putting out for you guys. But of course, you could change the flooring. You could change this, that. I wish you could change the pool table. Actually, funny enough, some quick fact. This was actually supposed to be an interactive game that you could play with your friends. Yes, I'll have more on that coming soon. But of course, we got framed pictures up here of my McLaren P1, which has turned into a pink Mustang. Rest in peace in the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. And we also got another car that I believe got raw dog biting games and turned into a pink Mustang. Rest in peace, Father, the Holy Spirit. Amen. I forgot what that is. And this also, fun fact, was also supposed to be a mini game that you could play in your house. Guys, I have so much stuff I have to tell you about this. Even this game, the shotguns were actually a part of TD2. So many things you don't know about TD2, I can't wait to share them with you. But let's go over to the garage and take a look at, yep, the only thing that I've left is a Urus. This whole garage was basically filled with only Lamborghinis. Again, video up on the screen for you guys right now that, so you can see what the garage looked like. If you haven't seen this video, I recommend it. Pop up on the screen right now. Link down in the description below for you to go ahead and check out my other TD2 top two garages that I had, the most expensive garages I had in TD2. If you want to see all of that prior to the, you know, the Miami Harris type of thing. But anyways, this is all I have to share with you guys today. If you did enjoy, leave a like down below and subscribe for more TD2 content. Other than that, other than that, let's try and get this video to 100 likes. You know what? Let's try and push for 100 likes. Other than that, I'm out 7. I'll see you guys in another video. I'm out. Peace.